Hello and welcome to the highlights of day one of the second test match, Sri Lanka versus West Indies, happening at the Gaul International Stadium. Well, there was some overnight rain and play starting a little bit early, but still the pitch looked quite dry. And uh, obviously, lots of people felt that the pitch will start, as we all know, assist the spinners. And uh, Sri Lankan captain Dimut Kanoratna yet again winning the toss. And he had absolutely no hesitation in batting first. And lots of spin on both sides. Kimar Roach coming back into the side. But Sri Lanka going in with just one seam bowler. And lots of spin and a debut for Charit Asalanka. Right, we are ready to start action. Let's go across and join our first commentators. Hello and good afternoon from the Gaul International Stadium, the city of Gaul in Sri Lanka for the second test match, the Cycle Incense Test Series powered by CDB between Sri Lanka and the West Indies. Just a reminder that Sri Lanka won the toss and decided that they would have a bat first. No surprises there, a couple of changes to the team. Kimar Roach comes in for Shannon Gabriel. Rakeem Cornwall goes out for Virasami Pamal. And Salazano, well, he's still struggling with a concussion. And so Shai Hope keeps his place in the side. It's the first test match in five and a half years for Virasami Pamal. Uh, there is a debutante for Sri Lanka. Asalanka comes in for the Seema. Here we go, Kimar Roach. That's a lovely shot for four. Beautifully played. A friendly half ball to start with. Katub Nisanga right over it, down the ground. Good start by the young man, Jason Older. Pushing it up to check whether that any swing. At that time, there's only one seeing the bat swing. Gentle, wasn't it? Gentle. Holder, a very tall man. Nasanka, very short. And often uh, batters don't get forward to tall, fast bowlers. They play a little bit from the crease, but it was a good stride from the right hander. Holder did bowl really well in the previous test match. Was steady. Had, had some uh, players hopping as well with the bounce. talking about the ground staff this morning and even the little previous test match the work they've done is fabulous to keep everything under control and have dry conditions start as soon as the rain stop these gentlemen should be applauded yeah, I find it absolutely amazing how they managed to get all those covers off and within an hour of playing <laughs> vacant third man that'll run away Nice ball by Kemar Roach for a nice line and length. Corridor of uncertainty. This time, Patum Nisanka managing to play with softer hands all around the ground. Just the start the youngster needed. More runs. The outfield is, uh, is fairly quick. Good bit of fielding. Good bit of fielding. Bonner, the man. Pull again by Kemar Roach. I said leaning into it. Didn't time it really well. It's good enough to get three for Demut Karmaratna. That's gone fine. It'll be leg bars, four of them. Not a good start by the West Indies so far. It's been runs in the offside as well as in the leg side. This time, spraying down. Now Jason Holder, leg buys, just helping it away. Uh, sadly, Mikiata's final game for Sri Lanka. We all know it's going to be a cricket director of Derbyshire County. Done a wonderful job with Sri Lanka. A lot of youngsters uh, change, letting their opinion know on social media how sad they are to see Mickey go. Yeah, I think he's done a he's done a really good job here. Uh, 
Now I know that um, the end of the fourth over, 20 without loss. I certainly know in that series against India earlier on in the year, that one day series, is that there was a lot of criticism that was leveled at, at Mickey Arthur as the, as the team struggled. But I tell you what, during that World Cup, they just looked as though they were a team that was starting to come together. And they found some real exciting fast bowlers. So when Sri Lanka play away from home, they'll be really competitive in that department. Ball, nicey ball. There you go. Perfect length, perfect line. Patung did follow it. That's the consistency level. Got the ball more and more. Little bit of shape this time. Just a touch, and that's all you need. Dot to finish the sixth over. Sri Lanka, 23 for no loss. Yes, he bowls, then turn down the leg side. Close call. Interested, Craig Brathwaite. In conversation with Jason Holder. And there's a big discussion and they're going to go upstairs. Holder's got his way eventually. Origin edition is not out. Pitching outside off, impact in line and wickets missing. Give me Kuma Kuma. You can stay with your original edition. I will let you know when you're on screen. Oh, what a delivery that was. Decided to ball round the stumps. Ball from edge of the crease. Getting the ball to hold this line. Oh, very lucky. He hung the bat out. You very rarely see that from Demuth. Well, there was a chance. Juicy half volley to start with, and Patham Nisanka is not going to miss out. All Nisanka needed was a short stride in. That was a true half volley but still needed to be put away. Just opened the face of the bat at the last moment to be able to hit the ball into the gap. Short and put away. This is an ordinary start for Kyle Mayers. Half volley for the right-handed batsman and a long hop for the left-handed batsman. Both got the same treatment. Boundary was scored. See, that's a mistake that the West Indians continue to make against Dimut Karmaratna. He's extremely strong in that midland leg area. And anything in that area, he just flick you and work you through mid wicket and mid on. And just like what he does, he has that strong bottom hand, strong wrists. And uh, with those wrists coming into play, it becomes easy. Beautiful. That was too full. And Patum Nisanka on drove it. With the greatest of ease. The 50 partnership is up. And we hit one down the ground, past mid off earlier on. But this is an even better stroke. Yes, it's over pitched. But the execution of the stroke is absolutely perfect. And he loved it, didn't he? Yeah, he's racing along. He's moved to 31. Timing his shots today, Dimuth Karnaratna. 54 without loss. Yes, 
Oh, finds a bit of turn and off the outside edge. Nisanka driving at it. And Rustin Chase just making sure that he saved a single for his team. A little bit of turn and it just holds. Oh. Just holds in the surface, a thick outside edge, runs past slip. I'm about to say encouraging for the West Indies, but they've got a bat last. Clever, very good bowling. That was pushed through quicker. There was some turn and bounce, that was 92. Certainly from a dry area. Excellent use of the feet. Patum Nisanka launching himself and gets a maximum. Oh, Brathwaite, the West Indian captain, has he's had long on in place for the left-hander. He's had plenty of boundary riders, but he doesn't fall them all second over here to Nisanka. And it's a lovely use of the feet and a full swing of the bat. And there's no one back this time. That's a lovely stroke. Oh, oh that one that was pushed through quicker. There was turn. In fact, the speed gun doesn't suggest it was pushed through quicker, but there was certainly some turn, I thought. Yes, definitely. Hitting the back tie. Oh. On the pads. That's a poor delivery. That's a gift. And that's a boundary as well. Not great fielding. A gift to the Mutkan or other. That's, that's the problem. That has been the problem with the West Indian spinners. It seemed to be something that they are continuing with. 100% right. The, the top spinners don't bowl bad balls. They give you a bad ball every five or six overs. <laughs> Fifty for Nisanka played extremely well. Looking control from the start of the innings. Straight driven four of Jason Holder. And at the end of the over, it's 80 without loss. Get it, get it, get it. Leading edge, Josh short of cover. Looking to go on side. He has played a few falls short this evening. And you seldom see him making such a mistake, Working, trying to hit the man. ball against the turn. <laughs> Shut the face of the bat a bit early. The timing has not has been out in this innings, but not on that occasion. Long hop and got the treatment. To smash the ball, wrench the ball through extra cover for four runs. This should give him a lot of confidence. He's been uh, itching and he's been looking to hit those balls towards the boundary line. This time around, was successful. Oh, that could have been close. That could have been close. Dimut Karnaratna came down the pitch. He was aiming possibly to that gap at mid wicket. He was very lucky. And did the target that vacant gap towards mid wicket? Premeditated. Sliding side edge as well. That's very lucky. Missing the stumps as well as uh, stumping. Coming back in time. It was very, very lucky. It could have easily trickled onto the stumps. Just played with the. Uh, played pretty late. That will run away to the boundary, I think. It does. It's the 100 run partnership yet again for this pair, and it's the fifth consecutive test that the Sri Lankan openers have got a 100 run partnership. Not just these two, but I'll be talking about Sri Lankan openers. It's been a prolific kind of period or time for the Sri Lankan openers, and yet again, another 100 run partnership. I very well played these two. Oh, that's taken. 
Rustin Chase has his man. We have spoken about the loose deliveries he bowled. But he's managed to get Dimuth Karnaratna, inducing him to play that false stroke. And Karnaratna just missing out on something special had he got that half century. It was not to be out for 42. Good catch, very good catch. And you spoke about the headache of Brathwaite. I think it will be relieved for a moment. With Karnaratna gone for 42, Sri Lanka 106 for one. She's picking up their first wicket. This man is here because of Dimut Karnal's exit. Austin Fernando into his 13th game. Solitary century, four half centuries, average of 36. Fielded very well. The street lights are on. So it is, it's an indication. And the scoreboard lights are also quite shining. So. That's a bonus. This is a good probing line, very good probing line, but I like it to be a little bit more off stumpish rather than middle, middle and leg. That's where Roston Chase is going at the moment, he's getting turned. But just outside the off stump, maybe Maha, that's the perfect. Guys, we're going to have a check the light. Now the umpires are taking a close look at the light and that's no surprise at all. Done guys, over. Yeah, I think, I think that was coming, that was coming. Uh, Play suspended, but uh, but it is. It's got dark. It's really got dull. It's got really really dark. That was the first day of the match. Umpires will take a measurement. They will have it as a benchmark right throughout the next four days. As you see, Patum Nisanka walking away with a magnificent 61 not out of 109 deliveries. A good start, along with Dimuth Karnaratna. Jason Holder, keeping a close eye with uh, Kumar Dharmasen and Rishira Palliguruge. So welcome back. Uh, that's the story at the uh, Gaul International Stadium. Play has been called off on day one. The covers are coming on and Sri Lanka going into stumps on 113 for one of 34.4 overs. West Indies uh, just going through those stretching and they're exercising Sri Lanka dressing room far more relaxed because they have had a very good outing in the test match so far after they won the toss and decided to bat. Good start by Tatum Nisanka and Dimuth Karwa Ratna. Karwa Ratna caught and bowl. Ross and Chase of 42. Nisanka carrying his bat throughout the innings and 61 not out. 113 for one. Right, let's take a look at the bowling of the West Indies. Just a wicket for Chase. Uh, certainly a lot of hard work for the rest of the spinners and there is no doubt that there will be some hard work as the test match progresses. Sri Lanka going to stumps at 113 for one.